the car, little bit. Well, my glove compartment is locked, so it's the trunk in the back, and I know my rights, so you gon' need a warrant for that. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to be unboxing Apple's Apple TV. Now, this is the second generation. Basically, the hardware uh, contained within this unit is uh, kind of last gen. It contains the um, A4 processor found in the last gen iPod Touch and um, iPad. It also has a bit of a lackluster 256 megabytes of RAM. Also, as we know, it uh, doesn't have any um, internal storage. Uh, it does have 8 gigabytes worth of flash memory, which um, is reserved for the operating system for updates and whatnot. Um, you can't actually buy movies on it, and you uh, you can, I believe, purchase TV shows uh, and watch them over the cloud, iCloud, um, from their $1 billion data center in North Carolina, where their cloud servers are held. But, uh, unfortunately, like I said, you can't buy movies. Uh, TV shows I believe you can and music and everything else I'm pretty sure but you can set up uh, a uh, streaming from your computer so if you have TV shows movies whatever you want to stream over to it so long as it's a format that the Apple TV accepts you can actually view it. I'm rambling a bit but I actually got this uh, not for its capabilities with iTunes but to actually use AirPlay. Now that the uh, 4S has the A5 processor I can actually uh, and the, the iPad 2 can do it as well, you could do it a while back, but uh, you can actually stream gameplay over AirPlay, so let's say you, you're uh, playing, I don't know, Real Racing 2 or something, uh, you can stream that to 720p is the max uh, for now, but uh, you can stream it over to your TV and you can play it, which I thought was absolutely awesome. So on the box here you can see 802.11n Wi-Fi, which is good if you're going to be going over AirPlay, uh, the faster you can get it, the better it is. It doesn't have gigabit Ethernet, unfortunately. Uh, and it runs over HDMI, of course. And then on the other side, you just have the Apple logo. And on the back, you just got a TV with Kylie Minogue on it for some reason. This is probably an Australian one. So I'll go ahead and open it. So uh, it actually just slides out of the box, like so. And there it is there. So I'll go ahead and pull it out. Very small and very lightweight actually, it's pretty cool. And obviously in here you get the aluminium remote, as you can see. Uh, and down further, you get the power cable of course, and your setup guide aka instructions and everything else. So um, let's have a look at the actual unit itself. So obviously this is all done over infrared, uh, as you would expect. Now I believe... Uh, it is made out of low density plastic. Now the problem with that is uh, is that it can get scratched very easily. If you have dust and wipe it off, I mean, you're gonna scratch it. Um, so I'll, I'll unwrap this very carefully. There is actually black tape around it um, that it comes standard with, as, as you can see, which leads me to believe that it is. Uh, of course, low density plastic can allow um, communications to uh, easily pass through it like the Broadcom chipset that it has in it which it has the same chipset as the iPod touch and last gen iPads uh, same Broadcom chipset which is the Wi-Fi Bluetooth and all that good stuff so here it is here the full unit in all, in all its glory Let's see if I can focus the light there uh, it just says Apple TV on the top as you can see around the back here we have uh, see if I can sort of focus the light. So around the back here we have your HDMI, your micro USB which is for service users, um, your two prong power uh, adapter, the optical audio port and your ethernet port which is sadly not gigabit. So on the bottom here uh, there's already some scratches on here just from shipping I guess. Uh, along the side here you can see the glossy black. Obviously I'm going to be doing a test and a review. I will test the airplay on it and see how well it works. Um, which is the main reason I got it, obviously. Uh, and I'll, I'll show people how, basically how it works in the review, and I'll go into more detail within the review. Uh, but that'll probably be in about a week, uh, probably next to the iPhone 4S review. So hopefully you enjoyed the unboxing. If you enjoyed the unboxing, subscribe for more.